Hey, what's up? This is Hunter with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking about what MSPs need to know about featured images. And if you don't know what a featured image is, those are the kind of images you see on a link preview when you look at a site on social media or other platforms like Slack or Discord or things like that. Uh, we'll be talking about the importance of getting some good quality featured images together, what a good quality featured image looks like, and how they're a key part of presenting a good first impression for your MSP's brand. Let's dive right in. Alright guys, again, so today we're talking about like featured images and Featured images are the links that are shared on uh, a website's URL or a specific page on the website when um, you know somebody shares your link on social media or on uh, Slack or a Discord channel or things like that. And this is something that's super common when somebody's trying to refer your business out to somebody. Um, so if you know you've got a conversation where you know. So and so IT managers like I'm looking for a new MSP. Do you know a new MSP? Uh, one that's good, one that's trustworthy. And somebody says, Yeah, uh, you know, I think this is a good company that you should reach out to. They share your URL in a Teams channel, a Slack channel, a Discord channel. Send them a message on you know social media, something like that. You know, those URLs are going to be scraped for a featured image, and that featured image is going to be displayed as the link preview. Um, so I just want to kind of show you what a you know not having a good featured image for those link previews can look like and what the impact of that can be and then what a, a good featured Im image looks like when shared so let's pop over to the screen share real quick all right guys um, over here in the screen share and wanted to look at a one of our clients here that we're doing some SEO optimization work for here uh, Mercer Bucks Technology and this is one of their landing pages for advertising IT support for professional services companies and um, just kind of wanted to show you this is like the front end of the landing page you know if we scroll through the landing page here um, you know we see a slider here that there's like an H&R block uh, photo and this photo is going to be important um, but I just kind of want to show you the page real quick and then I'm going to come over here to the back end of the page and we can see here in the back end that there is no featured image set for this uh, page um, and we can see here in this kind of little post preview that I'm using with uh, Yoast SEO um, that it's loading an H&R block uh, photo um, and since there's no featured image set on this page um, it is scraping what is the basically first available photo that it thinks would be relevant for the page um, and using that and that doesn't always create a good experience you know you want uh, when this you know page is being shared on social media um, I've got LinkedIn pulled up here and we can see that H&R Block is being very prominently advertised when the professional services page is being shared so that's not ideal we're trying to sell more for Mercer Bucks technology not trying to sell more for um, H&R Block. Um, so I'm gonna come over here to this Managed IT Support page. This is one of the pages that I've already optimized for this client and uploaded a uh, featured image for. And just kinda wanna show you on the back, back end here um, that you know we've got a, a featured image uploaded here and we can see that it's loading within the kinda Yoast SEO post preview. Um, when this URL is shared on social media or via direct message via like a Slack channel or something like that, you know, we can see that it's got a nice looking featured image that aligns with the client's branding, uh, prominently features the logo, <coughs> the logo, and is um, also aligns with the post click experience, you know. They got the clients waves and things like that um, within their like website that are incorporated into the featured image so overall this is a good first impression presented by the brand and you know carries on through to the post click experience on that landing page so um, this is what a good featured image looks like creates a good first impression and uh, this is why you want them um, 
This is a featured image for a landing page, um, and this is typically the type of style that I recommend for a landing page featured image. Um, usually just want to promin prominently feature the logo, have the branding featured, and then have a couple words about what the, um, the landing page is about in nice big text so it's easily readable. Um, for a blog post, um, you can do a kind of branded styled featured image or you know you can do a uh, stock photo that aligns with the conceptual kind of topic of the page. Um, so this is a blog post for another client that you know what SMBs need to know about the MGM hack by Scattered Spider. Um, and then again, this looks like a nice kind of conceptual reinforcement of the topic of the page. Um, so you know you can kind of do that there. Um, you can also do kind of like a author picture sort of style with text um, for blog content. I think you know prominently featuring the author of the blog post is another good way to go, um, but that might not always be feasible depending on who's writing the content. Um, and I just want to kind of like point out that like you know if we look on this page you know we can see that the featured image is not present anywhere on this landing page. So you don't necessarily know that your pages have a featured image set without looking at the back end of the page. Um, so you can see this is the featured image, but that featured image is not present on the landing page. This is something that is a code change or code level element that's in the back end and has to be provided via the HTML so that um, social media platforms, chat platforms, and things like that can scrape that image and use it in the link preview. Um, one of the ways that we're identifying missing featured images is via a database query in WordPress. Um, I've kind of devised a query here to help me identify pages that are missing featured images via the WordPress, WordPress database. So, you know, you can come here and kind of see um, based off this query, you know, what pages are missing a featured image and which ones need to go have their featured image set. So I ran a query here on the Tortoise and Hare database. I'm going to paste this link. We can see that this link comes to the privacy policy page, which is not something that I'm super concerned about uh, having a featured image or not. So totally okay here. Um, but, you know, having a query like this uh, that can help us go through and identify you know which pages are missing that you know element of the branding and element of creating positive first impressions and just kind of doing an audit there is a part of the way that we're bringing some value to our MSP clients and creating those positive first brand impressions um, and it's also good for SEO so um, that's it uh, for the screen share Thanks guys for watching. Uh, again, we talked about featured images for your MSP's website, um, looked at what makes a good featured image on a landing page versus a blog post, You know, talked about how if there's not a featured image set, that that can result in unpredictable and undesirable results for what images are selected for those link previews, if any. So you definitely wanna go and make sure that you have your featured images set on at least your site's core landing pages and ideally all your blog content. Some fringe pages like policy pages and things like that aren't necessarily as um, important, um, but your core website and your core blog content is definitely something that you want to have quality featured Im images set on. Um, so I hope you liked the video. Thank for watch thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software. <laughs>